Hi, I am Pravin Kumar and uh, welcome to Informatica My Support video channel. Um, this presentation is on how to enable uh, partitioning for 10x uh, versions uh, Informatica data quality. So, uh, in this presentation, we will discuss topic which is as shown on the screen. Um, we will uh, discuss uh, about the introduction to partitioning, what is maximum parallelism and how to set it, suggested parallelism, what is it and how do we set that and what are the things we need to make take care when you are enabling partitioning which could be the side effects and uh, then we will have a short demo and uh, followed by some references. So, so basically what is partitioning? So the process of parallelizing one or more sections of your mapping to allow effective utilization of the available computational resources. Like say you have a multi-core system which can process multiple things together and you have a single session running, a uh, mapping running, um, which can be, which is actually not utilizing um, the effect available resources. Like you have more CPUs but only since there are only three threads running, reader, writer and transformation. You can think of increasing more threads and allow uh, more computation to happen if you have that much of uh, resources available with you, right? So increasing the number of threads is basically what a um, uh, partitioning uh, does and uh, uh, each uh, point of addition of a thread is actually called, you can term it as a partition point, okay? So coming to uh, there is a concept uh, which is important in terms of Informatica's data quality um, so in your data index and services there is a property called as uh, maximum um, parallelism okay which is shown on the screen there uh, which it comes in the execution options and what you need to do is uh, uh, you need to set uh, this maximum parallelism which is by default to 1 to increase it to uh, a bigger value, a non one value. So if you increase it to four, then you can say that every session um, or any process which a single process which you have, it can have uh, at max of four uh, threads for a single mapping pipeline stage. Like say when I say like that, when I, I mean to say you can have four reader threads or if I set it to four, at max you can have four reader threads. If you set it to three, then you can have three reader threads. And at the same time, you can have three expressions and also you can have three or four based on whatever requirement for your sorter and aggregator other transformations as well. So you should make sure that you are not increasing in to a number which is less than, which is more than your number of cores. Your number should always be less than or equal to the number of CPU cores you have. Um, because you are not, you are not be able to provide that much of concurrency to the threads because each thread will require a CPU and you will end up uh, waiting for CPU in all the threads. Okay. So whenever um, there are two places where maximum parallelism can be specified, one at, at one is at the development uh, time where the developer can set it in the developer tool. Um, but uh, all the all the DI settings, all the developers settings are overridden by the parallelism which is set at the DIS level. So this one takes the priority or overrides the values set by the developers because this is at the admin level. Then there is an option called as suggested parallelism where users can also specify that they want some parallelism for specific uh, 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 transformations like in this case in the example you can see uh, a sorter transformation was suggested by a user to be set to 2 and aggregator uh, also uh, he has set it to 2 so uh, he says that a sorter and aggregator can use 2 like this, are the, this is kind of the preferred number of partitions it may not be the exact one which the DIS may choose to run but it will be a preferred one most of the times and maximum parallelism is something uh, which the developer uh, in the developer tool itself the user can set like say now we have set it to 3 here so if your DIS is set to 2 and this is set to 3 then you will see that uh, the minimum of the 2 is considered so we will end up using 2 because at the DIS level 2 is set and uh, if if you have set here as 2 and there as 3, then in that case as well, maximum parallelism by the developer itself is set to 2, so it won't go beyond that. So always remember that the minimum of the maximum parallelism set at the DIS or the mapping is used. 
So what is the uh, main trade-off of enabling partitioning? So the main problem when we, we see which uh, users face when they enable partitioning is they they would have overcommitted the number of partitions uh, than the resources they have and because of which uh, there is a lot of contention and this contention itself adds a lot of bottlenecks into the logic. And also there is importance uh, to be given to the simplicity of the logic. The more logic is simple, the lesser resources it would use and the lesser resources it, use, it uses, the more um, options you have for, the more advantage you would get when you go for partitioning. So make sure that your logic is also uh, developed in such a way that it's as simple as possible. So over parallelism will always, uh, will always uh, you can see that it will slow down and sometimes you can see the performance is so degraded that it less, it would run slower than your, uh, it would run actually very slower than your non-partition ones. Okay, so now let's look at, let's have a look at the demo. So I have a simple mapping over here, uh, which is uh, containing just uh, a reader, a sorter, an aggregator, and a writer transformations. And uh, we will see how it goes uh, with the partitioning. So for any mapping, the partitioning can be seen by going to the mappings runtime properties. So right now, you could see that it is uh, set to uh, maximum parallelism over here is set to the default value of 1 and uh, since it is 1 and these all are actually set to auto and uh, so the problem here would be uh, that uh, there is no partitioning in, sense, uh, in this sense actually. So let us run this mapping and see how it behaves first. So, uh, the mapping is currently running. Okay, let's go to the server and uh, just check the locks in the directory itself directly. And uh, here you can see there is a file uh, which got correct created just now. Okay, so here it is. So, if you see, this mapping actually ran in 33 seconds and there were no uh, partitions in this. Okay, let's, let's see how it goes with the partitioning enable. Okay, so let me go and uh, set the properties for the mapping over here. So this is the mapping and um, go to the properties. Okay, and set this to some four okay and you can see it has become activated i will just keep it auto for the simplicity and uh, so right now i'll set it as four and my maximum parallelism in the dis is also set to four okay so let's save this mapping and run it once again Okay, so the run is completed. Let's check the logs again on the server side. Okay, so there is one more log here created just now. Okay, so let's go here. You would see something like partitioning is enabled. Let me show that. Okay, so you can see uh, it has uh, parameters for that. And then you would see at the end. Um, so the session which was running in 33 seconds, now we are able to run it in 17 seconds by enabling partition. And you can, another thing to note is you would see the log messages I will have something like this telling you that one star four which means that there were four this is the this is the message coming from the fourth thread of the writer and this is the message coming from the third thread of the writer and so on
okay now coming to the next part and uh, that is the references okay so for more information on these details like how uh, what is the criteria for setting the maximum parallelism and the criteria for suggesting the parallelism to the uh, dis and how you can override the maximum parallelisms etc you can refer to the performance tuning guides uh, partition mapping optimization chapter in the top in that you have a topic increase maximum parallelism also you have a similar content in your uh, developer mapping guide from the developer's perspective though uh, for the mappings chapter and then there is a suggested parallelism and there is a partition in mappings chapter in which you will see overriding maximum parallelism uh, as a topic in it there okay yeah uh, we would love to have any feedbacks from you to make this video better and also um, if you want any video kb for any other subjects from informatica please feel free to reach us thank you